Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create an Apple logo by using AutoCAD 2016. We are going to apply the following commands. Extrude, Spline, Revolve, Subtract, Circle, and Line. And utilize the materials and assign lighting effects. Okay, let's start. To start a new drawing, you can either click this plus sign or go to the quick access toolbar. Click that and select um, ACAD 3D for Imperial Units. Open. Make sure you're facing the parallel projection and uh, from the custom view. Or view controls select front grab the Apple image from your desktop type 0 comma 0 comma 0 enter to attach to the origin click enter uh, turn on your ortho mode enter maximize that Turn off your grid, double click the image, and you can make it um, darker. And from the ribbon, select spline, and somewhere in the middle, or click tangency first start from there turn off the ortho mode just trace until get somewhere in the middle right click enter to accept move the uh, spline to your right type l for line uh, turn your ortho mode again by pressing f8 or just clicking from here I want to make sure I'm clicking the endpoint. Bring it down. I'm just going to extend this one. Type TR for trim. Enter. Right click to enter again. Type J for join command. Enter. Select all. Right click. Double click this one, convert this to polyline, and uh, specify precision of 25. All right, so here's the tricky part. From the ribbon, you can see this drop down arrow beside the circle. Select two point circle. And from here, you can start drawing circles turn off the ortho mode again and just tangent to the line circle again another circle Alright, now I'm going to create a layer, a new one. I change this color to red. Click this polyline and change the layer to, not red, but uh, red.
there you go and then from here see as you can see here you have to move that a bit okay type tr for trim enter enter again to select all we're just gonna trim these ones inside enter now highlight the segments the broken segments inside and delete delete that delete delete that I'll connect this too because it's broken I'm just gonna drag the grips attach it to the other end all right and um, maybe drag this in and touch it here type J for join enter select all maybe do it twice and then uh, press your shift key to deselect this one enter let me see if it's all join sometimes it just won't connect everything so type J again click that connect that there you go let me see all right okay so what I'm gonna do highlight this one adjust the vertex or the vertices attach it to the red line or the red spline that looks okay now we're just gonna delete that uh, type L again for line and um, right click and click the endpoint bring down your cursor type TR for trim double click trim that trim that enter now we're gonna join the whole thing so type J for join command now it's uh, one object type MI for mirror and from the endpoint bring down your cursor click no copy this one rotate this one move that move it over here bring the drawing back to the front type C for circle copy the circle Type TR for trim. Type J for join.
move this object rotate use that as base point extrude four point five go back to the ribbon and select revolve select that one enter and uh, specify endpoint just bring down your cursor and the given value here is 360 degrees so just enter to accept go back to the ribbon select extrude copy the whole thing and type SC for scale scale it for 0.25 go back to the ribbon again and select union command combine those two Right click, repeat union, type materials, and select uh, glazed fire brick. Maybe we can change the color for that with a lighter or darker maybe. All right. And then go back to the ribbon, select subtract command, click the object you want to keep, right click, select the object you want to remove. The same thing here, right click to repeat subtract command. Now let's bring this back and uh, grab the quadrant and attach it here. Go to the visual style controls and select 2D wireframe. Highlight that small apple. Bring your drawing to the right side. Highlight that and move just a little bit. Maybe we'll just delete that. Okay. Let's check. Maybe move it a bit inside. Because we're going to create an indentation. Okay. Go back to the ribbon and select uh, subtract command. Highlight the bigger apple, right click, and select the object you want to remove. Highlight that, not copy, move. Delete those. 
select visualize from the tabs click sun status adjust exposure turn on environment click background select gradient select three colors select top color for dark red adjust it to somewhere here in the middle make it dark the bottom make it lighter maybe the middle more darker create shadow adjust the sun location add lights intensity of five maybe copy this one hold down the control key and press the print screen at the same time and go to your window and type paint Control V and then crop save us PNG and save it to your desktop and here's your logo thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and please click the link below